Hello my awesome viewers and subscribers, my YouTube family and friends. Welcome back to my kitchen. In today's video, I would like to show a massive thank you to my university students and my college students for taking the time out to support me massively. And in today's video, I'll be doing brown stew fish served with mashed potatoes and vegetables. Let's get started. Over here, I've got three nice slices of fish. I've washed them in lemon juice and they are ready for seasoning. These are all my ingredients what I'll be using to brown stew my fish. So in here, I've got a bit of carrots, a bit of garlic, some thyme, and a bit of scotch bonnet pepper. Over here, I've got some vegetable peppers. Some people call it we call it vegetable peppers some people call it sweet peppers it still mean the same right here is some onions and some spring onions which some people call it scallions right and over here to save time i've started cooking my potato my potato is near ready and i've put my oil to slowly heat up so that i can fry my fish so let's get this fish seasoning I'm just going to wash my hands before I started seasoning my fish. Right here, I've got my little teaspoon to guide you guys, you know, so you can know exactly how much season to add like when you're seasoning your fish so that's amount and i'm going to put it straight in that bowl and that's my fish seasoning you can get these seasoned to buy in your local supermarket and you can also order them online that's my meat seasoning I'm also using some tropical seasoning. I don't want to use too much seasoning because I'm just gonna just lightly season my fish. And right here I've got some black pepper. So I'm just going to show you now how to season the fish. So I'm just combining all my season together and then I'm gonna start seasoning my fish. So you just gently season the fish on both sides. And we are having brown stew fish with mashed potato and salad. This is what we are having for our tea. Guys, I'm just checking the potatoes to make sure that they are cooked. And my potato is now cooked, so I'm going to turn my heat off. And I'm, then I'm going to drain my potato and put it aside for mashing. I'm now testing my oil to make sure that my oil is ready. And my oil is ready. So I'm now going to put my fish in and fry my fish. I've put my fish in to fry. I am going to turn my heat down because if the heat is too high then the fish will burn and it won't fry properly. So I've just turned my heat down and then I'm going to leave my fish to slow fry. So guys, I'm going to turn over my fish to see how it looks and as you can see it's looking really really good turn them all over look at that guys that looking really 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 good so I'm going to fry them on the next side so I'm going to give them at least 10 minutes and they should be ready for taking out Guys, my fish is now fried and I'm going to remove them from my pan. Guys, look at that. That fish is looking really, really good. Okay. 
I'm now going to fry up all my ingredients and then put my fish in to brown stew. Guys, if you are preparing this meal at home for you and your family, if you are cooking for at least three, four people, obviously now you're going to need more fish. But because I'm only preparing and cooking this meal for two of us, three pieces of fish is quite enough for us. I'm just going to add some soy sauce, just to bring the colour and the flavour out in this dish. Guys, as you can see, look at it, you can see the difference. You can see how colorful it does look. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of my hot pepper sauce, just to give it a little kick. So I'm just gonna use my little spoon right here, and I'm gonna add that along. If you like it fiery, then you can add some more, but I don't want to be too fiery. So, I'm now going to put my fish in, and like you can see, I've got three slices of fish. I'm only going to brown stew two pieces, and then I'm going to leave one piece. Guys, you can eat it as it is. You don't have to brown stew it, so that's why I'm leaving one piece, because I'm showing you exactly, you know. So, if you want to fry it and just enjoy it on its own, you can also do that. Or if you want to brown stew it and have it as a meal, you can do that also. It's entirely up to you. Just going to add a little bit of warm water from the kettle. It's best to add warm water or boiling water. You get a better flavor from your cooking your meal. So guys, as you can see, it's all looking good. I'm just going to cover it and leave it to cook for about 10 minutes. I don't have to cook it for long because the fish is already fried and because the fish is fried, the fish is cooked. So this is just to soften the fish and bring a bit of flavor in this dish. Guys, I'm going to add some butter to my potato and then I'm gonna cream a potato or if you want to say mash it it's entirely up to you which I've already so I'm just gonna get my mash it and I'm gonna mash straight into this potato until it's creamy and fluffy just gonna let you have a look at how my fish is looking and like you can see guys look my fish is looking really good and check the gravy out look at that guy look at that check the gravy out gravy is looking really good gravy is not runny gravy is not too thick gravy is looking really really good fishes smell really really nice so i'm just gonna turn my heat off and then i'm just gonna serve this meal and just enjoy my meal is now ready and I'm gonna have a taste and then I'll tell you guys how this meal tastes. So guys please eat with me. I'm gonna go straight into my fish. Mmm wow very delicious very delicious this fish is full of flavor it is more watering and I'm telling you guys, it is very, very delicious. My mashed potato is very nice. It's just melt away in my mouth. So guys, if you like this video, give it a couple thumbs up, like and share. And if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, 
please hit the red subscribe button put on your notification bell so that when i upload a video you will be notified guys i've cooked this food with a lot of love and it's not easy to prepare and cook this meal but i did it for you guys so please please support me i need the support thanks very much guys stay blessed enjoy your day see you in my next one peace out